yeah, I did a song about the about the mob of Paul so the ball at um, the magnificent statue of the ball in Sanderson Arcade. Um, unfortunately, and it gets me here, <laughs> it's the wrong breed. <laughs> if you have it in Angus, it should be a short horn. If you look at all the old photographs, it's the short horn and the short horn. It was the it was the breed. The, the history of the breed tells you that the very first shorthorn cattle were bred by the, the Earls and Dukes of Northumberland, going back four or five hundred years. So there's a great history of the shorthorn breed in the northeast. <coughs> um, so I, I wrote a little song about the Morford Pole. And next year, I'd like to come to Morford to the gathering. And I'd like to sing this song. I'd like to get on Morpeth TV. And I want to do it in Samson Arcade. <laughs> <laughs> the ball. In my hometown of Morpeth, in the Sanderson Arcade, I stands a muckle sculpture made entirely out of clay. This mighty bovine statue, it's very fine indeed. But me beef is that this barry bull is not one local breed. Oh, the mob bull is a canny old bull, a canny old bull indeed. But sad to say he's got no horns, cause he's not of the short horn breed. You see, the black prince, he's an Angus, and Anguses are grand. But the native Shire is Aberdeen and not Northumberland. And Anguses are hornless. That's because they're pulled. And their connection to War County is fairly recent, I've been told. Chorus <coughs> men. Take a dig at them old photos in faded sepia brown, and you'll see the kind of cattle that were most frequent in war town. It was the famous shorthorn breed that stood there chock a block next to Vanbra's mighty stone facade and Morbeth's ancient clock. And then chorus, and then, um, no one didn't want to make a fuss or to see the prince removed. Just an acknowledgement that got it wrong and that he could be improved. I didn't want to tear him down for a better plan instead would be to stick to horns of Connie's heed and paint the bugger red. <laughs>